There were many times I could look out there and, and see the trucks carrying the bodies up on the hill. And you see parts of the bodies dropping up the truck. And the truck would stop and pick them up. You saw hands and legs and arms. I wonder where they carried the bodies. And many years went by before I knew that I looked on television and saw a cemetery on Omaha Beach. I mean, I thought it was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. Right above that hill. And it's still there. presents a statement by the Negro community on D-Day. Today, white and black, Jew and Gentile, see the beginning of the end of fascism, both at home and abroad. For today, the mighty Allied army are storming Hitler's European prison, storming the very citadel of world fascism. Among the first troops to land on the beachheads of France were Negro soldiers. Clarence Jackson, John Sharp, Anderson C. William, John Danridge, Isaac Edwards, Gillian Cobb, Robert Stovall, one hell of an outfit. My name is Alan Price. I was with the 3275th Quarter Master Service Company. I came ashore June 6th, about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Can't imagine what it was like. Body in water, blood all over the place. You have nightmares. When I first came home, I had nightmares. And uh, I still don't like to talk about it. You see these movies and stuff, like the, now, you know, like the longest day. You don't see no African Americans. Uh, Private Ryan, no African Americans. Where was the Bloom Variety outfit? The dump trunk company, service company, Port Battalion. They didn't show you any of that. Sometimes they didn't want to give you recognition, but we was there. The records say we was there. And we was there. And you see the monument there, we was there. <laughs> 